next project. It's a simple wooden knot, three-piece puzzle. Uh, pretty easy to do. The key on this project right here is that your wood tolerances are just right. So the way this knot works is this slides down a little bit to there. Then now this could go over, and now this could slide down the full way. This piece comes out, and then that part comes out. So there are three, three small pieces. Uh, and they fit together in a knot. So this goes up, over, this goes up, this fits in. Slides down and in, and there's your wooden knot. So I set these dimensions of these little pockets at exactly 0 .500, so they're exactly 500 thou. So the key here is that rather than use half inch wood, this is hardwood, um, it, it's a little over half inch, but I ended up using the drum sander, and then I brought it down to 0 .490, so it's 10 thou underneath um, the sides of those pockets. These, these are going to be square edged. I see and see these parts out, they ended up being round edge because of the fillet in the bit. But then I just rounded my parts to draw my three piece wooden knot. Remember, first thing you do is you go to machine type, router, techno servo, because that's the machine I'm using. And then that gives you this. Under stock setup, I set up my stock. Piece of wood's five inches by five inch. Even though I drum sanded it down to 0 0.490, I set it at 0.5. If I want to see that, that would be on display here. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is create a rectangle. I'm going to start at the origin, snap up. My rectangle is four inches over, one inch up, first quadrant. And then I'm going to have this little rectangle in the middle that's one inch by a half inch. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to create a line from my midpoint to my midpoint. And then I'm going to offset that line. I want a total box of one, so I'm going to offset it a half inch to the left and offset it to the right. Go back and delete that line. Then I'm going to do that again. I like using this as my previous operation here. So I'm going to snap a line from midpoint to midpoint. And then now I'm going to offset this a quarter inch. So X form, offset quarter inch, quarter up, quarter down, and I'm going to go back and delete that line. So this is my rectangular cutout. I'm going to use a quarter inch flat end mill to cut this board out. So I'm actually going to put a fillet on it because that's what um, the bit's going to do automatically. I'm going to fill it from there to there with an eighth inch, which is a radius of a quarter inch mill. So there's my box with the rectangular cutout. I'm going to have three of these pieces. They're all pretty similar. Okay, now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy it. The way I do that is I go X form, drag. This is what I'm dragging. I'm done selecting it. This right here is copy mode. So I grab it and I copy it. And then I'm going to have two pieces that are the same. So now I'm going to edit this one and then copy this piece. So I'm going to create line from the midpoint to midpoint. The little cutout here is a half inch wide so I'm gonna offset it a quarter of an inch this way, a quarter of an inch that way. Then I'm gonna go and delete that center line. Okay then I want to trim down to here. These aren't gonna have fillets at all. So I want to trim this line, this line to there, and I'll make sure create a line from the end of this horizontally to there. And then I want to, let me zoom in a little bit on this. I want to trim this line to there, this line to there, this line to there. So I'm all done, fit screen. There's my second part. And I have two parts identical. So I'm going to go X form, drag, select this part, 
I'm done selecting and drag it up. I'm all done and those are my three parts. And then the next step is to tool path them. I'm just going to do a contour around the outside with a quarter inch bit. And then I'm going to come over here to post and I'm going to post those to my flash drive and then let's go run it in the shop. Here are my three pieces. I use an orbital sander to sand the edges down so they fit well. There's our final product. Pretty tight fit.